What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee discussion video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Pokemon Gym requirements. Now, oh my God, when I first seen this new story pop up everywhere a couple of days ago, my initial thoughts was that people were getting their information wrong, that people were just taking that E3 trailer, the shit we seen at the Nintendo Treehouse event, where the trainer walked into Brock's gym, talked to the guy with the glasses, the referee in the front of the gym, and basically was asked if they had a certain type of Pokemon that would benefit them against Brock in order to enter and participate in the gym. Now, when I initially saw that in the Treehouse demo, I was like, okay, this is maybe just something that they're gonna do in the beginning of the game to kind of tie into the fact that Brock does want you to do that in the anime, if that makes any sense he tries to drive that home about knowing your type especially before he actually battles red and stuff like that i again feel okay with that i feel like it's a great way in the beginning of the game so you can learn typings and especially for players that are jumping into pokemon for the first time because they got a nintendo switch this is something that they're going to need to learn very early on in the game so this is something that i didn't actually mind when i first seen it but now we got an update on the Pokemon Japanese website and I will actually tell you I'm gonna leave the link in the description below so you guys can check it out but it is it's pretty dope the Japanese website versus the American website it's is night and day they're actually putting a ton of information a ton of stuff on the Japanese website I'm gonna be checking it daily to see if we do get any new information from it because it's, it's pretty dope and one of the things you can check out is the towns that have already been revealed via trailers and they also talk about gems and one thing that we have to highlight and bring up about gems is that they do talk about what these conditions could potentially be it says conditions vary depending on the type and level of a pokemon so as we've seen in brock's gym it was a type gym when you needed to actually bring a certain type of pokemon and then they also allude to it being more different conditions like being a certain level that you would need to have your pokemon above before you can actually go in and battle the gym which like to me it's not too game breaking it's not too hand holdy to tell you to get a certain level or get high enough so you can be able to you know be able to last in the match or whatever i do think it takes away kind of a little bit of the spirit of pokemon being a free roam rpg where you can just basically go where you want and battle who you want and do what you want i do think that it takes away that but again this is a definitely remake for a new generation of people that never experienced Pokemon it's clearly integrating Pokemon Go for that reason into the games so you, people who love Pokemon Go who don't play Pokemon can pick this up very easily and you know kind of breadcrumb them to the next Pokemon game which is going to be the Pokemon 2019 type I don't think this is the end all be all for Pokemon gyms that people are saying oh they're doing this because they want to kind of mix the what Sun and Moon had with the trials and this kind of makes it that you have to do something before the trials it's not that outtoos as those from what we're seeing here it doesn't say that you're going to be able to go on missions or you have to fucking make a fucking recipe before you can battle a fucking gym trainer in the gym like we're not seeing stuff that ridiculous but i do think we maybe see some stuff like that down the line maybe we will have to wake up a snorlax in order to participate in the gym or something like that or bring a pacific pokemon with you who knows the doors are open the floodgates are open whatever the pokemon company wants to throw in there as a curveball they can and i think that's what they're gonna do but i don't think it's gonna be impossible stuff to achieve like, I don't think there's going to be a gym where it's like, oh, you need to be level 85 with a Pokemon in order to enter this gym. Like, I don't think we're going to see anything crazy high as far as levels concerned. I don't think we're going to see crazy conditions to bring a Pokemon type that you're not going to be able to have unless you go to a Pacific city and stuff like that. I don't think we're going to see stuff like that inside of this gym system. I guess I think this is just more of a reminder to kind of teach new players and newcomers what Pokemon they should 
should be battling with and at what level should be their Pokemon when they walk into that gym. I do think this is a good thing. Let me know your thoughts on it though in the comment section below. I've been seeing a lot of people on Twitter is kind of like it's split. A lot of people are saying don't worry about it. A lot of people are saying yo what the fuck I kind of hate. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I think this is again a minor thing. I don't think this is going to affect sales in any way. I don't think people are just going to be like no no I'm out because you have gym requirements. It's a little side mission before you enter the gym and something you're probably going to achieve anyway. I don't think this is going to block anybody's progress in the game. You do have the box in your backpack so you can switch out Pokemons and still loophole the game like that. But still let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about these requirements. Do you think they suck? Do you think that, that they're pretty good as far as teaching us effective stuff throughout the game that we should be learning anyway? Or do you think that this is just another way the Pokemon company is going to hold our hand throughout this whole motherfucking game? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my Fred on Instagram and Twitter. And you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.